Hey guys, so we are back for the season finale of Star Season 2, bitches. Oh my goodness. What a season this fuck shit has been. So let's go ahead and get started with this shit. So we start off with, you know, the girls, it seems like they're getting ready for this album release party and shit. Miss Bruce got her job back. They're coming in to get his hair cut. Everything seems all to the good, right? So we get Simone, who's still in her fuck-ass feelings about the whole situation with her and Angel, about him being deported. I'm like, bitch, let it go. It don't even matter, bitch. Let it go. So, so they find out that the tour is in a month and that they will pretty much be the opening act for Noah and Gigi's headlining tour. They all have a good moment together, and they all seem to be celebrating real nice and everything until Star's diss track starts playing in the radio. See what I told y'all? I said this shit would happen last week. Like, Morris really ain't shit. Like, go back to watch. You'll see. He was shady from the jump. Mind you, before I get anywhere below with this, anywhere with this video, if the sound is kind of off from what you see, I apologize. I'm having technical difficulties right now, and I don't have the energy nor the time to fix it properly, so y'all just going to deal with it, okay? It's either video or no video at this point. So, moving on from that. We get Alice, who pretty much everybody is in their feelings over this over this diss track, especially Alice, who comes over there and fuck Star up. I'm like, this this needed to happen, okay? This fight just needed to happen, and bitch, just let them fight the fuck out. So at the release party, Carlotta puts the girls in check before their egos, you know, kind of get in the way of each other, and. We all know that shit ain't going to last long because Star and, and, and Alex have the biggest egos and Simone's just there. Let's be honest. So, yeah. So then we get through this very complicated time jump through through the whole process and I feel like it really was annoying and very unnecessary. But we get to Gigi and Noah, who's promoting their headlining um, tour, and Gigi's all up on him and shit. No. Let me go back. They're, they're promoting their tour. Carlotta confronts Noah first about the whole situation with him drinking and that he lied to her about it this whole time. And I'm sitting here like, Carlotta... Don't be stupid, because you should you should have known that this was that this was the case. So then we get into Gigi's nasty ass being all over all over Noah, and I'm just sitting here like, okay, so. And I actually saw it in the comments on one of the star videos that that posted up a few minutes ago before the show aired, where this person on the comments was like, so it went from Noah and Star to Noah and Alex. And now Noah and Gigi? Nigga, ew. <laughs> like, come on now. Like, what is your deal? But we all know he's fucked up, and that's just what it is. So Star confronts Maurice about the diss check, and he has to tell her off saying that he got her to be a solo performer, that he promised her to be, and, you know, still messing with her head and manipulating her to kind of um, do her bidding. And she really just needs and, and, you know, how he really wants her to be this solo artist to get his ass into relevance. And I'm just sitting here like, Maury, you ain't nothing but a shady-ass nigga. You a fuck boy. You a sorry-ass man. And I just, I cannot wait to see you go. I'm waiting for you to go. I don't like or trust you at this point. So, Carlotta, Cassie, and Cotton go over to the studio to go through her heel stings and stuff. 
And Cassie pretty much kind of has a moment with Carlotta kind of letting her know that she going to figure out who killed her heel. I'm sitting here like, okay, that's fine. Because I honestly didn't even think about that because I thought, for a second, I thought the heart attack killed him or his heart problems killed him, but then I forgot. He did get shot, too, and that's why, and his heart problems made the injury worse. That's what will happen. Okay, so now I understood. Okay. So, yeah, Cassie promises that she's going to find her heels killer and shit, and, you know, her and Carlotta pretty much have a real genuine moment together without fighting or throwing shit with each other, which was fair enough. Fair enough. So later we get Noah, who a few days later gets arrested for assaulting a security guard, and he is drunk off his fucking mind, let me tell you, because he's messing around with the security guard, talking about some, sir, I'm going to need for you to stand right. I am right, you know what I mean? No, you're, no, you need to stand right. No, you're other right. I said, no, stop playing games with your drunk ass. <laughs> so two days ago, it turns out that Noah was drinking and that he was really down on his luck and that the fact that his career is sky high, that he just he just became this crazy-ass addict and shit. So he gets confronted by Carlotta for drinking, then he has the audacity to try Carlotta to tell her that she needs to know her place. I said, bitch, if it wasn't for Carlotta, your ass wouldn't need to be in this situation. She's trying to help your drunk ass out. So shut the fuck up with your dumb drunk ass. Go to rehab, bitch. So our honest father, you know, he's mad about the boy believing the crap that his rival was saying about him and that they're literally planning on kicking his ass out. Oh, excuse me, from um, Midtown and shit, and he ducked that Ayana would be the one who was responsible enough to take care of the company, and honestly, at this point, I feel like he, just, he should just let Ayana take over, because at the end of the day, ain't nobody else trying to take the job, ain't nobody else trying to, you know, stand up for the proposition, Ayana is the only one at this point, so why not just give the bitch the job, so she can shut up and leave you alone, like, seriously. So doing an interview with the girls, you know, this this was just a stereotypical interview because the pre- not the producer, but um the interviewer was mass shady and so was the girls. Because whew, excuse me. He started acting he started asking like real shady questions talking about some you know is there any beef between you guys? Alice said, you know, there's no beef. Is there? You know, it is what it is. We're all a group and we're all just here together as a family. Speaking of that, the interviewer got, this, the interviewer tried it when he said that stars, um, this track got 70 million 70 million hits or 70 million views. And I'm just sitting here like, well, bitch, damn. It just instantly went that fast. And I'm just sitting here like, girl, look, this is only going to raise tension within the group even more. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry if I've been yawning lately. It's just I've went through a lot today with school and shit. And I'm just ready for this shit to be over in 14 days. So at this point, I'm just sitting here like, bitch. Stop it. Stop it. So just bear with me. We're going to get through this video. So later on, we get Ayana who's impressed with Maury's plan and shit of making stars um, video release. And Carlotta is not here for the bullshit. She ain't here for Ayana, and she ain't here for Maurice's bullshit. And neither am I. Because Maurice, you fucking tried it. 
how dare you try to instigate the beef between the girls and try to break them up just so you can bring, just so you can keep your job and your relevance. You a fuck bitch. You a fuck bitch and I don't like you. And Ayana, you a fuck bitch too because you allowed Maury to do this shit and you impress with what the fuck he's doing. You know, good damn well that take three would have literally been your only hope and Midtown's only hope of relevance and keeping your motherfucking job, too. And you out here breaking them asses up for what? Paper? Bitch, please. So, Maurice also tried it with Carlotta because he said that he wasn't here for Carlotta's supposed BS and that he mentioned her heel. And she's like, bitch, don't mention his name again. ever come between me and my girls again, we are gonna have problems. Try, bitch. I said, ooh, Carlotta, you... Oh. oh. Damn. That was, mm, no, 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 ooh. I hate hair in my mouth. I just hate it. Oh, shit, that was nasty. Anywho, um, so, later we get Cassie, who's still bugging with Andy about his money, about her money and shit, and Andy tried to, Andy thought he was slick, because he tried to sweet talk his way out of it, and try to make out with, Ka- with Cassie, bitch, Cassie was not here for that shit, she went on ahead and told that nigga her, that she knew his white parents' address, and where they have brunch at, and then she gives him another silver bullet, saying, bitch, you don't want me this time. You don't want me to miss. I said, Andy, just pay the bitch back and run. Okay, just pay the bitch back and run. Because at this point, Cassie is not playing no game. Brandy, stop it. So it's day nine and stars posing for her solo um, photo shoot. Simone had the nerve to come in that suit. King down one of the damn lampposts and she was like, I don't know, but that shit made me laugh because it was like she came and she said, Boop. Bang. Break time. <laughs> this is shady, motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie. So Simone confronts Star, you know, about her being selfish and shit, and Star has to let her know the same kind of story about how she did everything for them and how she pretty much kind of is doing this for her and and their mom. And Simone pretty much made a good point to Star, how she, because Star still believes that she killed Mary, but Simone is not here for it because it's really between her and Mary, like she said. And Simone had absolutely nothing to do with the whole situation with what happened because she wasn't even there. And Star just needs to just let that shit the fuck go. That's all, you know, that's all that she needs to do, really, to be honest. So, Alex, with a fake ass, decided to go in the head and, um, um, Start on making a diss track or a clap back at um, Star with her track with Jackson to piss her off with a dumbass. And then Noah comes in with his dumbass and decided that he tried his best to comfort her in her time of need because her dumbass decided to do something stupid and. He he tried to save the day, but clearly he didn't work, this dumbass. Honestly, at this point, I feel like Alex and Star just need to fuck and get it over with. They need to fuck and get it over with, okay? They need to lick that clit and keep it moving, okay? Lick that clit and keep it moving, okay? Because they don't already fought, so now they just need to fuck so that they can stop fighting. So, at this point, we get to the realization of, of who killed Hahil. 
I honestly don't care who it was because the nigga that I've been wanting dead since the beginning is finally dead. So, honestly, whoever killed him, kudos to you, bitch. <laughs> kudos to you, bitch. And Cotton confesses that she believes that Omari was the one who killed the heel. Because she was the one who, who left him alive because she didn't have the heart to kill him. So, Kalana bitch slapped the fuck out of Cotton. Call her a bitch or shit. I'm like, Cotton, Kalana, you were going to call Cotton no bitch, no dumb ass bitch now. The fake ass. But, um, you know, it's just like, well, damn, Kalana. You, you were going to slap the bitch? So, so, Cassie pretty much had to stop her from killing Amari. Letting her know that she needs to worry about getting Cotton and Jaden out of out of town since Cotton pretty much got them both in danger, and that Cassie was going to handle the situation. Now that was a red flag for me because I started to notice something within her body language of how sure and calm that she was, and how she was the only one who was offering to go and take care of a murder job. So that was kind of like, hmm, it's a little suspicious. So I'm gonna keep my eye on you, ho. So Simone visits this angel and he tells her that he lost the hearing he because he has no official rights within the US so he's really getting deported. His ass is going to Mexico and at this point there's nothing else that he can do. He's already accepted his fate and he wants Simone to move on and live her life without him. And I'm like, Yes, bitch, leave her alone. Y'all need to be gone. Y'all need to be separated because this whole relationship, this whole little marriage, that needs to go. Okay? Lee Daniels, burn it. Simone is literally, so Simone is literally down over the whole situation with and with Angel. <laughs> I call him Angel. <laughs> so shit, I'm going to call him Angel. I don't give a fuck. And Kalana and Star, you know, tries to cheer her up and shit. And so Mom fucking tried it when she said to Kalana, "You will never, you will never be able to understand how it is to love somebody as much as I love him." I said, "Kalana, you better knock some sense into this little bitch, into this little kid crackhead right here." She snatched the covers off her ass. And push no kicked her off her bed, telling her, "Look here, don't give me that shit, okay? Don't give me that shit. I, I have somebody that I love, and I just buried him today. Don't try it." I was like, mm -hmm. These motherfuckers are out here getting bad bones for the wrong people. <laughs> so, we get Alex and Noah. They're pretty much talking, and Alex notices an empty bottle and shit. So, at this point, she's in her mad-ass feeling because she realized that Noah just pretty much is acting just like her mama and shit, and they break up, and I'm my like, bitch, finally. So 29 days have passed, and there's still tension with the girls, and they're getting ready for the for their opening act and shit, and Carlotta tries to pump the girls up and shit for the tour, and when they get on the stage, they perform. I have to say, that performance was cute for what it was. I wish they would have picked different outfits, because I'm looking at that shit, I'm like... Okay. Okay. <laughs> but honestly, I feel like this really was a good song. So once the crowd was good with what it was, after the song was over, the crowd pretty much was cheering and demanding stars on this track, and this triggers Alex and struck the nerve in her so bad that she don't fuck star up almost in the same style as how... Nessa and Tiana fought 
in Empire Season 3. So after that episode, the producers or the, um, or the board of Midtown pretty much said, no on take three, we're going to make Star the solo, uh, the solo artist. And that's when the group officially broke up. And this, this is just another example of why I feel like the music industry is just so fucking shady. Because it's like, they just don't even give motherfuckers a chance. They just find motherfuckers who make music that will help make them money. And that's all that it is. I personally feel like that music is a bit overrated, but we still go and listen to it. We still go and pay money for it. We still go and stream to it. And it is what it is. We all feel like that music is a bit overrated, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. So Noah tries to slap himself, like, senseless and shit before his performance, and Gigi barges in, and she notices that something was wrong with him, and he starts complaining about the problems that he's going through, and she offers him some cocaine and pours it on her breast, and I'm like, ew. So him and Gigi are pretty much just major problematic people, and I just can't do it. So the drug jumps out of his performance. Noah out here performing a song about um, bitches and and having sex, and baby mamas, and shit, while Gigi out here dancing like a hoe. I mean, she looked like a hoe, but I'm pretty sure Gigi probably is a hoe. But, yeah. So, he walks off and has the Bette Midler moment, and he had to let the the um, producers backstage know that he's all right. I'm sitting here like, bitch, you ain't all right. So, of course, because I knew this was going to happen, the second that her and Noah was going to break up, she, who does she run back to? Who does she run to? <laughs> she runs back to Derek, obviously. And she tries to... And she tries to play victim, trying to act like... I have nowhere else to go. I don't know what to do. I just broke up with my chocolate nigga because he acted just like my drunk ass mama. I just lost the bed because Star. Because. Star. <laughs> that pussy ass, selfish, broke ass, dumb ass bitch. Walked to. Feel the spotlight and not even think about no me or Simone. <laughs> I ain't got shit and I'm thinking about going to New York to talk to my daddy to figure out why he's such a fuck sorry and bad. <laughs> Dude, I can meet you. <laughs> so that, at that point, Derek kind of let her know that, you know, he's still with the bitch. <laughs> And at this point, it's like, well, see, Alice, that's what you get for lying. Now you just, now you see what you just lost. You just lost the one man who was really going to do something for you and was really going to help you out, even if it wasn't going to be sudden. And you just lost all that shit. You lost all that good luck. So I hope that lying was worth it, bitch. Just thank you. But, um, anywho... So, at this point, Andy is writing chat books through Ayana's money. Whoa. Andy is out here writing money checks through Ayana's checkbook. And Ayana catches him in the middle of the action, and she tries to get him away from her desk. And so much shit has fallen out of his pocket the whole time she was trying to fight him off her desk. Uh, what fell off first? Because I know the gun came out second. Okay, oh, she found a passport and a gun. And she tries to get the gun away from him. So they struggle a little bit. And then he shoots her. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? Lee Daniels, what the fuck is going on? Are you trying to kill bitches at the end of the season? What the fuck are you doing? 
So, Andy calls Carlotta. She arrives and does the best thing ever, which was to rub off the evidence from everything, bitch. Or at least to wipe off the fingerprints off the gun hoe. And I'm like, smart move, bitch. So, Carlotta tries to call the ambulance. But Ayana refuses to let him know about the, to let um, the ambulance know about the situation because she doesn't want her daddy to kind of look at her like she's weak and shit. So then she reveals that she's pregnant. And I'm sitting here like, pregnant? With her vagina? The fuck? Bitch, why are you pregnant? Okay. And we also found out that she'll be finding that she survived the gun bullet. So we get... A lot of trying to talk to Andy about the um, situation that had happened, and he lets him know. She lets him know that Ayana's gonna be fine. She gonna live and shit. And this prompt, and this prompts um, Andy to kind of go on ahead and let her know that he knows who killed Hahil, and he spills the beans that it was Cassie. Cassie was the real killer who killed Hahil. And honestly, I feel like that Cassie probably didn't even mean to kill Hahil. I feel like she was actually trying to kill Andy because he didn't pay her back the money. And Hahil just so happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's how I feel. Because I personally feel like that her and Hahil had a nice bond and shit, and I don't think she would even want to think about killing Hahil off like that. So I feel like it was just a wrong place at the wrong time murder for Hahil, which was meant for Andy. Which makes so much sense when you actually think about it in his proposition. So we get... A flash forward a few weeks or days later, Ayana's father comes in. He's not this, He's not in charge of the company anymore. Ayana's in charge, which makes Carlotta the head CEO of the company, which is good. Um, and then she went on ahead and fired Maurice. And I'm sitting here like, calm as a bitch. Gigi and Noah pretty much are doing drugs together and getting high and whatnot, and, like, she tries to star barges in and she tries to reason with Noah about his problems and shit. He gets all up in his feelings because he's being checked by star and shit. And star fucking tried it when she went on ahead and said that just because you're doing drugs does not make you an artist. It makes you an addict. And she fucking tried it when she said, not Michael, not Prince, not you. I said, bitch, don't come for them. Don't come for them, bitch. Because I feel like you disrespecting them. I feel like you disrespecting me. So, then Star performs solo. And during her performance, we get a time jump of what Simone and Alex are up to while she's performing. Simone is leaving the airport to go to go be with her boo thing Alice with her boo thing Angel and Alex is getting ready to leave to New York. Derek tries to go after Alex saying, My girl is on that damn plane and I'm like, Oh, so you're gonna forget the fact that the bitch lied to you and pretty much betrayed your whole relationship with a whole nother nigga behind jail back? We gonna forget about that shit? Okay, Derek, I see you. I guess, I mean, I guess the heart wants, I guess the heart wants what the heart wants. Okay. So, meanwhile, Cyrus has a moment when she starts thinking about the girls and how bad she feels and how much she really misses them. And I can hear, I can really hear the regret in her voice and how badly it's been breaking. And I'm sitting here like, don't cry now, ho. This wouldn't have happened if you wouldn't have let Maurice, get in your head, and that you wouldn't have listened to him. So don't cry now, bitch. Don't fucking cry now. Bitch, bye. So there's a news report of a plane crash, and then we get Noah, who is on the cliff of a roof, looking like he's getting ready to jump. And then Carlotta and Cassie 
you know, confront each other about the situation that Carlotta knows based off of what Andy tells, told her, and they pretty much drew guns at each other, and at this point, the season ends with one of them pulling the trigger, or both of them. And at this point, it's so many fucking questions and so much cliffhangers to what's about to come for next season. Who the fuck was dead from the plane crash? Was it Simone or Alex? Or who was seriously injured? Or who might end up in a wheelchair like Derek and shit? Who pulled the trigger and got killed during the scuffle? Was it Collada or Cassie? And, um... Bitch, um, didn't know I'd jump off the roof after he realized that he was an addict and that he was such a problematic mess. Bitch, that was Star Season 2. I hope y'all asses enjoyed this messy-ass review, and I will see you guys next season in the fall. Bye. Leave comments down. Tell me how y'all feel, and tell me if y'all are